Just recently, my Valvan tripod decided to start to fall apart. I mean, I'm still using it, but I needed something new, something fresh, something that's gonna take me forward. I mean, it's just a tripod, but this one's arrived and it's from KNF Concept. It's around 100 pounds, 72 inch height. Let's just get out and take a look at it because frankly, you're not gonna learn anything from looking at the box. I gotta say, this case is actually very decent. Feels like it will take a beating. It's got a strap so that we can fling it around the shoulder or you can just go handheld. And yeah, seems pretty good. Especially as most of you just think, ah, it's just another budget rebranding Chinese brand. But you know what? In a woodland setting like this, you know, I've got to put the bag down in random places and I don't want to cry if it gets damaged or hurt. Let's see what's inside. The aforementioned shoulder strap is there. A bit of silica gel and I believe that's the center axis column piece and the little nut there and the tripod itself. Setting this thing up is dead simple. We've clipped that into place. One hand turn, everything is extended. That's in, firmly planted. We've got a nice Arca Swiss style ball head, plate, all that business right there. This is the winning feature for me for this tripod. Yeah, I needed the height. I needed the right sort of balance between weight and sturdiness but this is something that just adds that extra touch. Now, if I loosen this bit here, you'll see this column starts to move. So we pull that up and that center column is very handy for me now that I'm shooting stuff from above and I do it in the studio with a center column that I bought to use with the Velban, but this looks like a good all-in-one, but I need to see how it fares with the weight on it because I find when I put my Canon 80D onto the setup that I have at the moment, which is very sturdy, I usually have to put a weight at this end to counterbalance and that's something you need to be careful with when you're doing anything overhanging when you're having your camera hanging off pointing down for example now this gets you into some areas that you just can't get to because of the tripod legs themselves i can turn and i've got full range of movement but for me it's all about shooting straight down the ball head is actually nice and smooth there just for kicks let's loosen this here and record you know what i mean i can't see it oops and i'm not doing it particularly well but it seems to be relatively smooth for some quick sort of b-roll style stuff Nice bit of action. You've got these funky little clips there, which allow you to adjust the leg splay. We do have a center column hook down there, so that's great for a bit more pull just to get it extra sturdy. If you've got a bit of wind going on, I don't mean that kind of wind. Will this be replacing my Valban? Yeah, I think so. Well, my Valban's falling apart, but this thing is sturdier, possibly sturdier than the Valban was before. It's equally easy to use. It doesn't particularly fold down as small as the Valban did, which was a real advantage of the Valban. I've got that super cool center column feature that the Velbar needed a extra big piece and counterbalance, etc. And it's got a super sturdy setup up top. But is it a Manfrotto killer? At this price, I'm gonna say yes. Of course, I'm not a huge expert on tripods, but I've got a lot of experience. And from what I've tried and seen on the market, yeah, for the price, I'm gonna say, yeah, Manfrotto killer. Probably get a lot of hassle for that, but I'm happy with that. They did a good job. Now you might think rebranded Benro, blah, 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 but this is sweet. This is what I got. This is what I've paid 100 odd pounds for, and this is what I'm gonna be using from now on, at least until I break the thing. <laughs>